ASW TV International presents Inspiration Hour with the legendary man of God, Prophet of Dr. Samuel K. Rod J.P., a.k.a. Dr. Singers and Rod, powered by International Kingdom University, you are Florida, for sponsorship in Africa, call the numbers in your screen now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to DSW TV International. Hashtag the Spiritual the Hour. I am your host, Professor Salmon Kirai JP Behati, aka Doctor Singers and Right. I'm here to motivate you. What I title your dream. What is your dream? Your dream is your life. Your dream is your destiny. Your dream is the reality of God's given destiny that God has given to you. Your dream is the healing potential that God has invited into you, into kingdom, into you. Your dream is your main life reality. Like I said before, and you're told totally before, I said your dream is your reality. God has created your dream so that you can be able to fulfill your God-given destiny, purpose in this world. What is your dream? What are you dreamt and what have you dreamt about? What are you trying to do with your life this new year? 2022. Listen carefully. Your dream as a God given gold mine. That your gold that you're looking for, the secret that you're looking for, that all in your dream. Hold firm to that dream and make that step. All you need to do is push and you get to the place of your dream. And build up your mindset to think about it to the level whereby nobody can stop you anymore. You believe in your dream, you believe in yourself, you believe in God that this dream would not die if it comes to pass. What are you dreaming about? What are the dreams? This year you have to have positive dreams. Change your mindset to go to a level of greater motivation. Motivate yourself. Tell yourself, I am destined to, to fulfill destiny. I am destined to rise to the top. It is my life, it is my dream to manifest God's glory. Your dream is that hidden potential God has given to you to create the reality of your future. Your dream is a new city, the new country that you are praying about. They are all in your dream. All you need is take that bold step. Never believe in the, the no philosophy. Believe in the yes philosophy. Always have this in the back of your mind that if you can put your mind there, you'll get there. Because you, the mindset that you carry now is the means your asset of your tomorrow future. I repeat, the mindset of which you have now that you carry right now is the means of manifestation, manifestation of your tomorrow asset. So your mindset the, the means what your asset, how great you're going to become in life, all life in your thinking faculty, the mindset, the, the realm of what your dream, your imaginary life. What if you imagine yourself to become in life? What are you thinking right now? What is the state of your mind? Because the state of your mind currently is that means your, your future estate. So greatness begins from your thinking faculty and failure begins from your thinking faculty. Like I said before, your dream is your reality. So you think well, dream well. Work towards your dream and see yourself get to the top. Your life is connected to your destiny, your destined dream. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about right now? What do you imagine? You imagine yourself to be um, the founder of a great ministry as a pastor to preach around the world? What do you imagine yourself to be? Are you imagining yourself to be the richest man in this world? Your imagination is the means your actualization. So your dream is connected to every great thing you imagine about. They're all connected together, the state of your mind. So listen carefully to me. God is programming your life for success this year. Your dream is the grace of God upon your life that will help you get to the place of your destination your destined place. You're in your dream we have gold, we have silver inside the dream. So in other words, never let your dream die because your dream has the ability to take you to the top to help you fulfill destiny. Your dream is that inner drive that gives you that inner push to take you to the place that God has destined you to be. Because I love telling people something, we have what we call the 3D effect. Your dream, your drive, your destination. You can never have a driving force without a dream. You can never reach a destination without a dream. You need to carry along that healing dream, that thing that you desire, that you want to achieve in life positively. 
what you imagine, you do imagine about your imagination, your imaginary world. Have you have you seen yourself in a dream, a revelation, or whatever? Seeing yourself being built in the estate, driving a private jet, affecting life, preaching, and the whole congregation giving your life to Christ. That dream is about to come to pass. If you just do something, take that step. You need to make that bold step, and you get to the place of your dream. Your dream is a lot the God-given potential that will manifest in your reality of your world, your real life reality. The all the power that you need, the strength that you need, the miracles that you need, they're all in your dream. And you've dreamt about seeing yourself um, affecting lives and giving food to people, the poor, in, in masses, in millions. Believe in that dream because it's about to come through by the grace of God. And right now in the studio, I'm not here, I'm not here alone right now. I have a wonderful guest with me. There's another person there, Evangelist Adams. Please come and join me. You're welcome. God bless you. God is planning for the young people out there. We need to understand, um, they need to understand something that their God given dream can take them to the top. What they're struggling to do can be done if they believe in their dream. They believe in the manifestation of their dream. For some, a lot of people, their dreams are being dominant because they don't want to make the step. The action you don't take today, you bring you a great regret tomorrow. The step you don't take today, we give you shame and disgrace. So what, why do you want to relax and embrace shame? Well, you can embrace grace and manifest God's glory. All you need to do is believe in yourself, believe in the manifestation of your dream. Everything's connected to your thinking faculty. That brings it down to the mind. As a psychologist, a professor of psychology um, here at International Kingdom University, uh, I, I love teaching my uh, lecturing and uh, I told my students something. In psychology, we have the six higher faculty of the mind. And one of the, the greatest faculty of the mind is the, the faculty of imagination. Because your imaginary world shapes your world, the reality of your world. So the everything that has been created in this world came out of imagination. God imagined how your nose will look like, how your face will look like, how you, you're going to run your life and everything. It programmed you to believe in yourself. And it gave you that imaginary word that he used out of it to create your melody. And today we can use the phone, we can make calls, we can dress like this, because we imagine how we're going to dress and make up. Man of God, I want you to scroll my life and let's have this word of a discussion. What can we do to reshape the mindset of these young people? The Bible says something, remember? It's a story to show yourself and prove unto God. And 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. It would matter neither not to be ashamed, but rather to buy the word of truth. It means of my own part of view that if you don't change your mindset to study, you have to you have to believe in what you're doing. Believe in your imaginary war, the imagination, that dream that God has given to you. Go into research, study to show that the world that you can do it. Tell that man, that woman who never believed in you that you can make it happen. You can be the champion, the new winner of that award. You can be the next stage man, the next stage woman, the young girl to win the greatest and the best of all. You can be what you want to be. So I want you to throw my light and really talk to the young people of this wonderful generation and generation to come. Thank you, Professor. Thank you for bringing me You're welcome. to the station. You're welcome. I want to emphasize about your dream. The dream is your life. Everything about you is the dream. Yeah, it's true. And when God wanted to create this world and imagine it, how the world will look beautiful. It's a mystery, but God wants to make the world a great place. And it started from the water if you read the book of Genesis. It said, let there be light, and light appear. And the Bible let me to understand that he was happy. Because what? What he imagined, yeah. how the light will look like, yeah. comes to be. If anyone wants to be great, must pursue his dream. Yeah. The things, you must have hope. Yeah. You must be determined. Yeah. You must be hungry. Yeah. I must strive yeah. to come out. Yeah. It will be an error that you are on earth, you do not fulfill your mission, yeah. which is a dream. Yeah. Mom, I want to do something. A lot of them are watching right now. 
and kids you're watching from Africa, all over Africa, Namibia, Mozambique, or you're watching from the United States of America, you're watching from uh, um, Florida, down in the U.S., hey, you're watching from the United Kingdom, you're watching from the Bahamas, the Caribbeans, you're watching from Ghana, wherever you are right now, watching us right now. God is about to transform your thinking faculty to believe in the reality of your God-given dream. Because if you allow your dream to die, you can never manifest what God has given to you inside. Even your body doesn't see it. So, your dream that you have right now, hold it firm and be wise to run with it. So, man of God, is a wonderful thing because your dream shifts the destiny of your your own destiny and everything about you. It arranges your life. It programs you to fulfill your God-given purpose in this world. Yeah. That's a great man in the U.S. I said I have a dream. I believe one day one of my sons will be a president of the nation and he materialize. Yeah, yeah. And today we are celebrating a young man that become the president, Barack Obama. Obama, he can never give up. He can never give up. Barack Obama, you're watching right now. <laughs> but Mr. You. King you bless was yourself. emphasizing, I have a dream, but people do not understand how this thing wants to be, but he has seen it and far deep inside him that a day will come, a black man will become the president, the president of, of the United America. States. Yeah. The United States of America. Yeah. Today, he has become reality. Mm -hmm. The world is celebrating mm -hmm. that the black man from Africa became the president of the United States of America. Wonderful, wonderful man of God. You really shared a deeper uh, land of inspiration. But we got a short break. Um, we'll be back. BSW TV International presents Inspiration Hour with the legendary man of God, Prophet Dr. Samuel K. Rod J.P., a.k.a. Dr. Singers and Rod, powered by International Kingdom University, U.S. Florida, for sponsorship and effort. Call the number to your screen now. So we're back live again. In case you didn't know, you're tuned into. DLW TV International, brought to you by International Kingdom University, also supported by SSMI Entertainment. I am your host, Professor Samuel K. Rod JP, PhD, aka Singer Sam Rod. And right here is with me is Evangelist um, Adams Ezezabal. In case you don't know, you're watching from uh, all over Africa, Mozambique, South Africa, United States of America. Listen to me, your dream will surely bring you out. Your dream is your true nature, and that true nature is going to come into reality. The whole world is going to see your potentials. Those potentials will never die. Because let hear me well, your dream is your reality. And I want to motivate you guys and hear me clearly. In our teach about the, the three philosophies of life that have helped my life and helped a lot of great men of God and great people. The ant philosophy, the life philosophy, and the philosophy of work and ego, the ego philosophy. Look closely at the ants. The ants are very focused together, working together to go for the sugar, something sweet, right? That's what thing you see right there is known as what your end destination is known to be your dream. That destination, that place of high standard you want to get to, it, it makes to be that award you, you're praying to have. It is that really spark that you're looking for. It is what your, your USB, your unique selling point that you're looking for. So the ants will always go together. Even when there's distraction, you try to kill some of them, watch out after a few seconds, they'll light up together and go for the sugar. Never give up in your dream. Challenges will come to bring you down. People will tell you you can't make it, will tell you no a hundred times. Tell yourself yes. Believe in the yes philosophy. That is the end philosophy. They always believe they can get to the point of the success, the place of their dream. Never give up. And the lion philosophy. Look at the lion. Just stretch his eyes. They're always bold. Because the lion, remember what the Bible says, we serve what? The lion of the tribe of Judah. We serve the lion of the tribe of Judah. Therefore, we have we have the attitude of the lion. Because the lion, the king of kings, and the Lord of Lord Jesus is the lion in the tribe of Judah. So believe that you have the heart of the lion. Put your, your mind together. Believe and dare anything this year, and you'll see yourself at the top. Strategize the life, strategize and the plan, and the hit that they pray. 
Get to that place of your dream. Hit the target. Get to that place of your dream. Get to that place of your dream. Enter into the well of success and bring out that gold and that silver. Now the eagle's philosophy. The eagle believe in themselves. They don't fly with chickens. They don't fly with all the birds. They fly alone. They hit the sun even when the sun is hot. They fly facing so high, facing the heat of the sun. They believe they are destined to get to the top. Go through the cloud and get to the place of their dream. Believe in the eagle philosophy. Never give up when the heat comes. Never give up when the sun rises. Never give up when it's dark. Don't believe in, in the negativity that you can never get there. Believe you can get to the place of your dream. And God will take you there in the name of Jesus. And man of God, we have to wrap it up right now. We have a lot of people there don't really believe in the philosophy of their dream. And right now, a lot of people are motivated. Some people are giving up already. I know some of those people right there, right now, watching me right now, never give up in your dream. Don't kill yourself before your time. God's about to open a new book for you, a new chapter for your manifestation, for you to see the reality of God's blessing. God's going to be good to you this year. Your Amen. dream is your reality. Let's pray for those watching right now. A lot of people are depressed right now. I want us to stretch your hand on the screen. Look into their eyes. In the name of Jesus, you're watching me right now. In South Africa, you're feeling down the press. In Florida, you're feeling down the press. Receive life in the name of Jesus. God's about to transform your life and destiny. In the name of Jesus. I hear in my spirit, somebody's about to turn around to face the right direction. And pick up your pieces together and get to the place of your dream. God will push you to the place of your dream. You will not die. Negative dreams will go. The positive dreams will come to pass. God's about to put you in the right spot right now. God's about to turn your book, to open the book of success, of brightness, the fulfillment of destiny for you. You're about to fulfill your destiny. Remember, your mind is a control center of your destiny. God will help your mindset and build it up to success this year. Your dream will not die in the name of Jesus. Your dream will come, become a reality. That God-given dream, that desire that you have, that degree you want to make, you want to get, that award you're looking for, you'll get there. Do you want to become a professor? Be that professor that you want to be. It will come to pass. Just take the step and go back and believe in yourself that God's able to do exceedingly and boldly in your life. God bless you all for watching. And can always remember, um, God has a great plan for your life. And you are about to fulfill your dream. God bless you all. God bless you all. Same time, same station. Turn into DSW TV. Inspirational Hour. I remain Professor Samuel K. Ryan, JP. Um, P H D A K A Doctor Singh is that right? And you, your name? Evangelist Adam is so what? Wonderful. God bless you. Remain in the house. Same time, same station. God bless you. See you there.